Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And the hope in the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Now, before we enter into today's presentation, I just want to give you a brief reminder of what you covered last time. Last time, we shared the spiritual knowledge and we cracked very rare wisdom. And the rare wisdom that we were sharing last time was on the fallen creatures, the spiritual animals on the animal spirits, explained how Adam is not only given the power to name the animals, but to tame the animals. And explained how the fallen creatures of animals, reptiles, insects, are also spirits that can enter inside the animals with the bodies which were given the flesh down here explained also how every animal or reptile that is now wild has become wild because man lost his capacity authority and influence over those animals and want to continue with the spiritual knowledge which is the real wisdom where i am just flexing up muscles in the spirit and sharing the deep secrets of the mysteries of both the heaven and on earth and today i want to focus on the human spirit and many other representations or significances of the description of the human spirit and how the human spirit can get colonized by other spirits or how it can get misrepresented. I need you to understand that the human spirit has got a body. And I know that the only body that you know, you yourself, it is this physical body, this flesh physical body, and this is not the body that I'm talking about. This human spirit has got a body in the spirit, a spiritual body. I remember explaining how angels also hate it. And still have spiritual bodies, including the fallen angels, which then became demons. I explained that in the Demon Soul Part 3, how the fallen angels were actually possessed by evil spirits. And you, can, you can't get possessed if you don't have a body. But that body was not a physical body. It was a spiritual boat. And the, up to now, those fallen angels, they are possessed by evil spirits. Why? Because they've got spiritual bodies. But those spiritual bodies, they are not visible. They are invisible. And also, the human spirit also has a body. And the evidence is when God says, let us make men in our own image. And the image that was being made was actually a character with the features, a bodily character in the spirit. When God is saying, let us make, he's not talking about the void Adam where he then breathed into Adam's nostrils. No. He's not talking about that body. He's talking about a spiritual body which was immortal. Men have got immortal bodies not in the physical but in the spirit. So, if men have got immortal bodies, what it means is is that the reflection of the creation of man was in the image of God 
in this likeness in the immortal reflection not in the physical reflection whenever you hear the scripture says we're created in the image of god you want to go on the mirror physically and see the reflection that you see but that is not the reflection which god was talking about the reflection which god was talking about is in the immortality now this immortality can work against you if you don't understand the image and the likeness of god how this is why we fail to operate as spirits yet we are spirits this is why demons have hijacked even the spirit men your spiritual body can be hijacked by demons do you know that category number one this is why you realize that you can dream of another person coming to sleep with you it's a demon that has possessed the spiritual body of that person we, we take for instance that you dream of andrew or peter or michael coming to sleep with you right it's because andrew's spiritual body has been possessed by a demon it's not Andrew's physical body that was possessed by a demon. It's Andrew's spiritual body that was possessed by a demon. And he came and slept with you. And while he was sleeping with you, you are probably Jane or Cynthia, right? So, your spiritual body, Jane or Cynthia, it has also been possessed by a certain demon. And these two demons that have possessed Andrew's spiritual body and Jane's spiritual body it's a spiritual husband and a spiritual wife and the two spirits two human spirits which are possessed by a spiritual husband and a spiritual wife they become intimate and that's when you dream having sex why because your your human spirit is having sex with another spirit which is possessed by a demonic spirit it is very possible get me right that andrew is also dreaming having sex with you while he's sleeping there why because his human spirit has been possessed by a spiritual husband and your human spirit jane has also been possessed by a spiritual wife and the two spirits have sex human spirits have what are called the celestial bodies extraterrestrial bodies bodies in the spirit and bodies in the flesh yet all these are dimensions in the spirit this is why you hear that in the last hour the dead shall stand before god how shall the dead stand before god when you believe that their spirits left their bodies how do you think the dead shall stand before god if you believe that their spirits have already left their bodies do you know that when the veil of the temple was torn when christ gave up his spirit certain bodies of deceased beings they were seen loitering in the holy city in jerusalem they were immortal bodies immortal bodies have bodies in the spirit that can actually be seen visible yet they are immortal yet they are invisible have you not heard of people that see ghosts how do they see ghosts i remember of course explaining about a ghost demon but let me explain what is called a ghost demon is a spirit that possesses the spirit of the dead before the spirit of the dead ascends to the underworld and how is that possible in a deliverance session 
I was praying for Prince Michael, one of the disciples of Mysteries and Revelations. And the spirit that ascended from hell manifested and said, Prince Michael was killed in hell and he was hanged. But the generals, the likes of Moses, he descended deep down to the lower pit of hell and he rescued Prince Michael, who was already lifeless. The lifeless body of Prince Michael, which was no longer breathing, yet it was not this physical body. It was a spiritual, immortal body that had been hanged deep down in hell and at death. I'm not talking about a physical body. I'm talking about a spiritual body. You don't only die in the physical. You also die in the spirit. And your death in the spirit is death in the spirit, not death in the physical. It is the death of the spiritual body. Blessed is he who doesn't encounter the second death. Blessed is he who is able not to be a victim who is not going to partake of the second death for he is going to reign with Christ forever. Now, I was still on the spiritual body. Do you know that the spiritual body can manifest? Why? Because you people will believe that when we are praying for people, a spiritual body cannot express itself. So many times when we are praying for people, demons, they manifest, they are also spirits. Remember, I've already told you that demons are fallen angels. They became demons because the fallen angels, they got possessed by evil spirits. And after the fallen angels had been possessed by evil spirits, they then also possessed human physical bodies. We are talking about a possession and a repossession. What was possessed, possessing the other spirit? I hope someone is understanding what I'm saying. And when you are praying for someone, it is possible that his or her spirit can manifest out of the body and start expressing itself and speaking things. So many times, when we are communicating with spirits, it's not always demons that will be manifesting. It can be your human spirit that I've made manifest to come out of the boat. And your human spirit start, starts to communicate with me, telling me about all the challenges, all the problems, all the obstacles which you are going through. Why? Because your carnality, your flesh does not allow you to create that spiritual dialogue. In as much as others start speaking in tongues, when the power of the Holy Spirit falls upon them, it is not this physical body, but it is the human spirit which has been filled by the Holy Spirit and it starts speaking in tongues, it starts prophesying, it starts doing certain abilities of the spirit which, were, which it was not able to do. The human spirit is also a spirit, like the spirit of a fallen angel, like an evil spirit, like any spirit which you can ever want to describe. So the human spirit is part of the categories of the spirits. So when we are praying, when there is a manifestation of spirit, it's not only evil spirits that manifest, it can, it can also be a human spirit. I've given you a deep spiritual knowledge there, a rare wisdom in this particular presentation, where I'm evaluating the human spirit. The human spirit is able to leave this body 
while is the man of the flesh is sleeping the man of the flesh is temporary you know that but the human spirit is immortal but he cannot become eternal before he receives jesus he can only become eternal when he receives jesus it's one thing being immortal being immortal is being invisible being immortal is not being eternal and for you to become eternal you must be given everlasting life inside your human spirit by our lord jesus christ the human spirit is able to fight many wars and many battles many conflicts the human spirit is able to even fly in the air the human spirit is able to encounter anything that you don't have the capacity to encounter in the physical the human spirit is able to travel while is the man of the flesh is sleeping the human spirit was given his own civilization by god now i've seen a part where the human spirit can also get possessed by another human spirit have you seen it when spiritual fathers are talking about impartation do you know that elijah released a double portion of his spirit i remember explaining about this part his spirit a double portion of his spirit not the spirit of god but his spirit is the spirit of god and he released the double portion of his spirit you go and read that scripture it never said elijah released a double portion of the spirit of god no elijah released a double portion of his spirit unto elijah the human spirit can multiply itself more than several times and after multiplying itself more than several times you can have one spiritual individual possessing different individuals and the several different individuals they start behaving as one human spiritual character have you not seen preachers that behave like a certain preacher and you actually see several preachers behaving like one preacher it's because that one preacher who is probably a spiritual father has multiplied his spirit and his spirit has entered different preachers and they started moses spirit at one time was distributed amongst the 70 something elders by god but that was before the dispensation of the holy spirit this is why in this testament where the holy spirit has come you must never allow the spirit of a spiritual father to possess your body you now have the civilization of receiving the holy spirit not the spirit of a spiritual father but the problem is that you still allow your human spirit to be possessed by the spirit of a spiritual father the spirit of a spiritual father is not the holy spirit you can get hijacked you get eclipsed like the sun your human spirit can get possessed by the spirit of another man you can get possessed by the spirit of man which is actually the spirit of another man when it happened during the, the time of elijah and moses is because the holy spirit did not come the messiah did not come this is why on transfiguration moses and elijah they transfigured alongside the one that it was awaited in the new testament this is why jesus says very i tell you the prophets of old wanted to hear and see the things that you hear and also hear the things that you hear why because the dispensation of christ is a precious dispensation i'm sharing the spiritual knowledge the real wisdom so that you understand that what is called impartation is a man 
multiplying himself and possessing you. You can get possessed by a man of the spirit, a spiritual man. He can possess you. And your human spirit can become lifeless. It can become domain. It can become ike inside the body. And you have the spirit of another man entering inside your body and controlling this body. This is why the spiritual fathers, they can be able to come inside your dreams and try to monopolize you, to instruct you, to cause you to do certain things. Whether he appears in your dream with an intent of praying for you, whether he appears in your dream with whatsoever agenda, he is not supposed to appear in your dream. What is his agenda? The Holy Spirit is supposed to appear in your dream. He can appear for the positivity. Because he is your father in the spirit that you have believed more than Jesus. But the bottom line is that your human spirit must be in charge of its own territory. Your human spirit must have capacity over its own spiritual territory. Your human spirit must not be detected by another spirit of man. I hope someone is understood in this party two presentation of the human spirit and the many other representations and significances in the name of Jesus.